I know you're an expert on intelligent plasmoids, and we've had a bunch of people that wanted you to talk about your thoughts on that and the potential cover-up uh, that NASA has done about these plasmoids. Uh, let's go to the plasmoids first. Um, many people who uh, um, congregate in places like Skywalker Ranch and um, maybe um, uh, uh, um, the Sonoma, California, and other places that are somehow hot with the quantum energy, many people report seeing orbs. And um, they have, in some cases, shown me pictures of orbs. That's not hard to do. Your cell phone camera will allow you to take pictures of orbs. They tend to be about this size, maybe not far from the size of the human brain. And um, they uh, show structure like uh, they, they uh, may have tentacles. They may have little bubble structures within them. And um, they seem to be kind of like organic matter. They're not in regular geometric structures like a piece of iron, which is a crystal, and the atoms of iron within this crystal are regularly spaced and regularly arranged. No, the orbs tend to be a blob-like thing uh, with um, no regular structure and um, uh, kind of blobby components within them. So I believe that what the orbs are, are broken entanglements. Now, we've got a lot of ground to cover here to make this plausible, and I'll go through it as, as fast as I can. Um, but remember that we say that the spacecraft gets to our location through entanglement. That is, along the path between the distant alien star to our sun and planet Earth, there have to be some quantum commonality along that field like charged particles or like spinning particles or uh, a mass structure that fills along that space with common quantum properties. And so that creates an entanglement in the quantum aspect of our universe, the quantum dimensions of our universe. Now, um, those entanglements can act like a black hole wormhole. I'm sorry, a wormhole. And uh, Kip Thorne at Caltech was talking a lot about wormholes in the 1970s and 1980s, but nobody knew how to make one. But apparently, we are seeing them in orbs. It's just that one part of it's gotten broken off. And so it's a orb like structure that's trying to find its mate. And so what it does is it creates the enhancement from the distant star to here and then produces at its tips something that it, for whatever reason it has, or the people back on, her, on the home star of this orb thing, of this orb entanglement. Um, that thing wants to be recognized by a human conscious being to complete the end of the funnel and make a transportable thing to transmit information, like maybe information to build a spacecraft, or maybe the parts to build a spacecraft, or whatever. Um, uh, the orb is the part of the entanglement that's now been cut off maybe by gravitational lensing or some other gravitational effect, maybe a planet whizzed by and cut off the second funnel, uh, opening to uh, complete the, uh, the entanglement that then could transfer information 
from an alien star to our star and planet.